uh, this processing uh, takes advantage of optics, which can be extremely wide bandwidth, so we can process uh, very large amounts of information. And um, the technique we use is a nonlinear optical process known as four wave mixing. And we're able to do it very efficiently, very low powers, and it allows us to do processing at bandwidths that exceed a terahertz. So conventional electronics are limited to sort of 10 gigahertz or so. Uh, we can use optics and now do processing at the terahertz level. For communications, what people are looking at in the, f in the future, for example, is being able is electronics is not going to be able to do processing at sort of above the 100 gigahertz level, and so people are looking for techniques uh, using optics to do processing beyond 100 gigahertz. So as and certainly now, sort of standard communications at 40 gigahertz level, but pretty soon they're going to be running into the roadblocks um, uh, that electronics presents and not being able to go up much faster. And so we've been exploring a, a novel type of technique uh, which explore, uses uh, a certain type of temporal processing which allows us to do um, this kind of processing of data. Uh, which could include anything from just measuring it to perhaps um, uh, compressing the data or magnifying the data. So we actually use a technique um, based on a time lens. So we've actually been able to make what's called a time lens. And just like a, a regular lens uh, allows you to do certain kinds of processing like magnification imaging, uh, we're it's, it's kind of an uh, idea that's been around for a while, but the difference is we now we can actually exploit it uh, to use this time lens to do processing um, um, in a way that hasn't been done before. And it can be done very efficiently at very low power. So people interested in looking for new ways of doing processing where you only require milliwatts of power, um, I think would be interested in the talk. So it could be anyone doing optical communications, but also people wanting to characterize very wide bandwidth signals.